Good evening all, welcome to Sports in the North. I'm Romico Knowles. Topping sports, a number of local soccer players between the ages of 5 and 17 taking part in a week-long elite soccer camp over at the Grand Bahama Rugby Club soccer field. Jay Philippe was there. Some 70 young soccer players took part in the 16th annual Jack Haywood Soccer Camp where a number of U.S. and English coaches were in attendance. The kids learned new fundamentals as it pertains to enhancing their game as soccer players. We get kids from the surrounding areas to come in off the island to come and play football. Um, coaches come in from, from England like myself and Abby and we also have two coaches come in from the US and we also then have local coaches to come in to support our delivery of the camp um, from Monday to Friday. Um, we get a lot of kids in, we, we group them into their, their age and their ability groups and then we just try to get them playing as much football as possible really. Um, focusing on the technical and tactical aspects of the game and trying to make them better decision makers, try and make them um, better technically in their execution of the skills um, and, and, and wrapped around all that is to try and have an enjoyable experience. 16 year old soccer player Janika Edi, who started playing soccer at the age of nine, says that the camp has helped her improve her overall skills. I have learned a lot from my coaches. They have taught me how to um, control the ball with my chest, knee, thighs, feet, and my head, how to um, do moves I couldn't do before, how to shoot on awesome goalkeepers and how to defend and attack. Among the coaches visiting was NCAA Division II coach Alex Gaia, who serves as an assistant coach for Flagler College, says that he's been impressed with the level of talent in Grand Bahama. The raw talent and the athleticism here is, is second to none. Um, I think that you know there's a range as far as um, reading the game from the players, so we've, we've tried to been uh, help guiding the players in, in their decision making and their movement off the balls because their skill on the ball and athleticism, uh, like I said, is, is very good. Organizers of the camp says that this year has been perhaps the largest group of campers that attended the soccer camp in spite of the extreme heat. I'm Jay Philippe, ZNS Total Sports. The scores from the YMCA Commercial League games last evening, Buckeye 66, Showtime 57, Franklin Pitty on 21 points, Sherman Robinson 19 points in the win, Dejon Wagus netted 25 points, Regis Cooper got 12 in the loss. Two games on schedule tonight at 7.30, Showtime will take on GB Shipyard, followed by Parliament going up against Cantina Port at 8.30. And that's your check on sports, thank you so much for tuning in, I'm Ramiko Knowles, until next time, make it a great one.